sun always sets way faster than I expect. Hello YouTube, today is Friday, April 2nd, and I'm going home, I'm going to Cape Cod. The, uh, well, I, sorry, before we get to that, I am selling all of my clothes and becoming a minimalist. Also, I am desperately trying to find a haircut. You may be asking yourself, why are you selling all of your clothes and becoming a minimalist? And the answer is, there's too much stuff in my life, but we'll get into that later. Right now, I'm going to Cape Cod, and the rule is, cozy clothes only, no jeans. I cannot tell you how badly I wanna go home and how excited I am to see my family. I miss it so much. Anyways, recently I've been a little down, so I'm making a big change, and something I wanted to do for a while. These are all the clothes that I'm getting rid of just from my apartment, not even on Cape Cod yet. I think there's more on Cape. Also, I'm doing a specific video on them, but I wanna give a shout out real quick to LSG Denim, Papo, sent me these jeans for free and also gave me a ton of tips to start my own company. So really cool guy. I'm gonna do a review of them soon, but they're cool. And they also have a ton of cool details. Hey, I forgot to mention, if you like this video, you should comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. How's it going? Not much. By the way, Apple Card, everybody thinks you're way more important than you are, and Taylor Stitch Wallet. It's actually a really good slim wallet. That's a long drive. <laughs> Made it to Cape Cod, just sitting in a parking lot, thinking, it's 34 degrees, I have the windows open, heat blasting. Ugh. I love Cape Cod so much. Good to be back. Okay, so just so we're on the same page, this is not gonna be one of those die hard, I only wear a gray shirt now type minimalism videos. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just don't want you to get mad at me if that's what you're expecting. You may notice that I'm wearing something totally different today, especially from when I was laying on the ground. I'm really running on fumes here. I had to drive back to New Jersey, then I came back to Cape Cod at 2 a.m., woke up at 6 a.m. I am so confused as to what is going on. But I am getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today, baby. So I get a little Johnson shoved in me. Yeah, so sorry if I, if this, if it's, if it's, without further ado, I bring to you minimalism, AKA, a lack thereof. I feel like I should start by saying I don't really even have that many clothes to begin with. I One time I went on a date with this girl and we went back to my room and she walked into my room and went over to my dresser and said, is that how many clothes you have? And I was like, yeah, why? And then she opened each one of my dresser drawers and just started to comment. Uh, she was like, I have way more shirts than that. I have way more pants. I have way more socks. There's basically nothing here since I left. There's shorts, there's pajamas, Patagonia, very fancy. Pajamas, uh, pants that I wear as pajamas, a shirt that I wear as a pajama, uh, orange theory shirt that I wear as a pajama, uh, the San Diego shirt that I wear. And then I have this corduroy shirt, which um, when I first met Taylor, we were having lunch together, and she said that she loved corduroy, and I pointed to my shirt, and she said, not that corduroy. The problem is, though, I just have one, two, 15 t-shirts that I haven't worn since freshman year in college when I would wear this shirt all the time and it just takes up space and I'll never wear them but someone else might also Captain America as you can tell a very popular freshman year in college I wore cargo shorts and superhero t-shirts and tied my shoes too tight so that's just like too much kind of junky stuff also this is future Michael talking to Carmichael two hours after the vaccine there's something brewing inside of me that I don't like so I'm going to drink all of this water right now to kill the virus. Wow. All the water. <laughs> also, I got my vaccine. I was sitting there with this girl and we were like talking. I was like, are you excited? I hate needles. When I get blood drawn, there's a 90% chance I'll throw up. And she was like, oh my God, are you gonna throw up today? And I was like, I don't know, I have no idea. And then the nurse or the person administering the vaccine took her temperature and it was 104 degrees. And I was like, oh no, you're kidding me. I came so far and then I sat next to the living embodiment of COVID-19. So that girl left and then the nurse took my temperature and it was 104. 
It's a broken thermometer. So I was like, oh, cool. I guess I just get to skip a spot in line, got my vaccine, and I'm done. All in all, though, owie, owie, owie. Okay, so last thing before I hop out of this car and we go somewhere that's prettier than this. So I have a lot of excess clothes. These aren't even like half of my jeans. My dresser is only this big. It's tiny. I can't fit anything in there. And I put all of my shoes in this box that Taylor found on the side of the road and gave to me. She also worked really hard to clean it up, so it's very pretty. It's very nice. Okay, this is the first round of clothes that will be getting destroyed. It says I got the Janssen vaccine. What happened to Johnson? Is he sick today? And if he's sick, this shirt from J. Crew, it's just too thin. This shirt from Bella Canvas, just too thin. This shirt from Cotton Citizen actually was Ryan Reynolds' shirt, and he wore it. Is that nuts? Not kidding. Not a joke. There's a stain on it. The pits are sweaty and red. So whatever Ryan's doing with his pits, too thin, too thin, too thin. Target shirt, it is like 35 inches long. It goes down to my knees. Oh, quick hack. If you could ever get a comfort color blank shirt, best quality shirts ever. They're garment dyed. They're cheap. They're incredible. You, I think you can get minimum 12 orders, but they're like $12 each, so I didn't want to spend that much. But if you have a souvenir shirt that feels like thick and is faded, it's probably comfort colors. This gray shirt I've had since high school. Too thin. Just, I wouldn't wear that shirt. This is a wool blend Pendleton shirt. It's really nice. It's just, it may be women's because it's kind of short on my arms. This shirt and this sweater. This is a silk and cashmere blend sweater. But both of these are associated with two people that hate me more than anything in the entire world. Too thin. I have like 15 pairs of jeans, so these are just some Levi 511s. Corduroy, too skinny. This is a Brockhampton hoodie from the Iridescence Tour. Weirdest concert I've ever been to because it was only 13 year olds there. I hate this. So Taylor and I actually saw part of the concert and then we ran out. This I can't even hold for too long. This is an alpaca coat. I'll show it to you in a second, but I'm very allergic to alpaca, so I get really sick when I put this on. Pretty cool stuff. These poor, poor Levi's, I ended up buying these and I needed to get them tailored. And the tailor made the leg opening six inches. To the pile they go. This is a Taylor Stitch heavy bag hoodie. To the pile it goes. Pants are too tight. These are unbranded. To the pile they go. And finally, this is an L.L. Bean shirt with some cool patterns on it, but it's it's like this long on my sleeves. The only reason I bought this is because I went to a thrift store with Taylor before we were dating, and she said, wow, I love that shirt, so I bought it and wore it. Even though it was like a mid-length sleeve and it was too small, I just thought she'd think it's cool. Land. It's not as pretty as this shot that I shot last time, but it'll do. So, the biggest problem that I run into, besides having too much stuff and wanting to declutter and keep it that way, is that all the stuff that I like... It, is there a bug on my face? There was. All the stuff that I like is basically made and advertised to look better with age. But when you have more than one thing, you essentially have the time of aging each one of them so you never age anything. And that drives me nuts because I want to see what it looks like. So I'll end up having like five pairs of jeans and I want to see what happens when I age them all and then none of them get aged. So I usually just wear one at a time. So why not just have a single pair of black jeans, a single pair of blue jeans, jackets. I just, I have to kind of accept that I'm always going to get more jackets. Then like a single pair of white shoes, my Blundstones, a sandal, some Converse. I already need to reduce my butt. We're starting. That's all that matters. It's very pretty outside right now. That's why Cape Cod's the best. It's just like this every day. With all that being said, I'm actually about to buy eight shirts. And I'll tell you what shirts in a second. But you may be wondering that that doesn't make any sense. The sun always sets way faster than I expect. So I have to get to the final filming spot before it's fully set. By the way, this is the final part I'm filming. I don't feel like the vaccine did anything. I actually feel better already. False. Maybe it has more effects to it than we know. Do you see those dots right there? Those are all seals looking at me. I try to do yoga a lot. Recently I haven't been, but what I have been doing is meditating every day. And I'm going to try and meditate here, but usually when I meditate in my room, I close the door, lock it, and like go in the corner where my bed is and meditate. But I just keep wanting to like open my eyes so bad to make sure that I'm not in danger of, I don't know what it would be. Here we go. 
Ah, can't do it. I bought eight Hanes t-shirts, beefy tees, 6.1 ounces, for $8 each. Great deal. Obviously, there are incredible shirts out there, like Naked and Famous's, 316's, Free Notes. Everybody has 13-ounce shirts, 9-ounce shirts, and they're really cool. But I can't throw down the scratch for those yet, because they're like 60 bucks each, 50 bucks each, and I can get like six shirts from Hanes. But eventually, I'll probably get a few, especially from Imogene and Willie, because they're cool. But anyways, Hanes Beefy Tees still have been great to me, so I'm going to get those. And they have side seams. If you're looking for t-shirts that give you a little bit more structure to your body, and you don't want it to hug your body, side seams are the way to go. Don't get those tubular, circular, knit, vintage t-shirts. Although they're really cool, I find they don't give you structure. But anyways, you may be thinking, Michael, this doesn't make any sense because you're buying things, you're still going to review a bunch of stuff. Where's the minimalism aspect? This is only phase one of the minimalism aspect. I basically got rid of all my old clothes I'll never wear. I have to do phase two where I say, you know, even though I like these clothes, I don't wear them and then keep going. But the goal basically, which I'll talk about in another video more, is to stay minimalistic, but slowly improve the fit of my clothes and come up with a silhouette that I like. I want to loosen all of my clothes and have them look more relaxed because I feel like the mood you give off is based on how tight your clothes are. No matter what you're wearing, that's the next experiment. And I want to narrow all the clothes that I wear down before I do that and then expand my fashion. Not by acquiring a lot of clothes, but you know, going to thrift stores and trying out like vintage button downs or military jackets and stuff like that and play around. So that way they, they kind of stay in the cycle, not buying a bunch of new stuff. Unless Unless, you know, it's like a really cool jacket or something I want to review. So, there's a lot of holes in my plot, but I am working on it, and we will see how it goes. That's about it.